All right, so what we're going to start off with here is we're going to start off with this blue function, whatever this is, doesn't really matter what it is. But we see here that here's the root. What we're going to do is we're going to explore this new method called Newton's method to approximate the root. Okay? So we aren't going to figure this out directly. We're going to do this indirectly. And there's a sneaky way that Newton figured out how to do this. If you take a number that is relatively close, uh, an x value that's relatively close to the root, but you don't know how far, but it's somewhere in, in the vicinity. What you do is you take the uh, tangent line, you take the tangent line, and you draw that tangent line so that it crosses the x-axis. So here I'm going to try and do this best I can. Good. Let's see if I can move that to a position that's better. Okay, so let's say that this is the tangent line. So what do we see with this tangent line? Well, we see that the tangent line has another intercept itself, right? And so what Newton figured was that, hey, if I record this, and then I start this whole process over again, which is a really simple process, I go to the function here, find out what f prime of x2 is, and I write that equation. Okay, so let's try it again. See if we can see if we can do this any better. Maybe so. Yes, perfect. Okay, so now look what we've done here. We've done the uh, tangent line at x2. And where does it cross the x-axis? Well, over here. And I don't know if you can see this or not, but we're kind of inching closer and closer to what would be the intercept, the x-intercept. So if I do this again, and I come up here, this is going to blow you away. But here we go. Let's do another line here. Let's see if we can get this right. Sort of. Wow, actually, that's a little bit too good, isn't it? Now, if we do this a third time and we get x4, check it out. You can hardly tell the difference between x4 and the intercept itself. So this is called Newton's method. And Newton's method is basically it's a process, but there is an equation, and this is the root. Okay, this is the x value that represents the root of the tangent line, the x intercept of the tangent line. So here is an equation for successive approximations of a root of a function. And it's given by this formula here. So anyways, I won't kind of go through the process of deriving this, but uh, this would be the next successive approximation. So x of n, let's say, is the first one, and that's just the random point that we choose, x1. If we do this right here, take x1, the x value, and we subtract the f of 1 divided by f prime of 1, what we get is we get the root of that uh, tangent line. And that becomes x of, this is 1, this is 1 plus 1. So that's x2. So we would get this value right here. And then if we start it again, okay, that is um, when we go from stage n to n plus 1, for all uh, values of n, it's called a recursion formula. We, it, it reoccurs. It's a recursion formula that keeps happening over and over with different numbers, and those numbers are sort of uh, zeroing in on something. We can get x2, then we can get x3, then we can get x4, and the further we take this, we are going to hit the intercept here pretty close. Okay? So that's how you do Newton's method, and maybe we'll take the opportunity to do one again. All right, so here's an example that we will we'll start off with here. Example 1. So we're going to start off with x sub 1 equals 1. We're going to find the third approximation, that's x sub 3, to the root of this equation, y equals, okay? Uh, sorry, I should make this equals, actually. Okay? So here's our, our, our function. Um, this is an equation. We're trying to find the, the root. So uh, f of x is x cubed plus x minus 1. f prime of x is what? 3x plus 1. Uh, sorry, 3x squared plus 1. Good with that? So what we want to do is we want to find x2. We're given x1. We want to find x2. So we put in x sub 1, which is 1. 
and we want to subtract from that f of 1, which is 1 plus 1 minus 1, so that's 1, over 3 times 1 plus 1 is 4. So 1 minus a quarter is 3 quarters. That's x sub 2. So we're going to do this again to find x sub 3. We plug in x sub 2. We subtract. Now, here's a, here's a little bit of a tricky part. We have to put in f of 3 quarters here. Okay? And f of 3 quarters here gives us... Uh, was it 27 over 64 minus one quarter all over f prime of three quarters should be 27 over 16 plus one. Okay, so I'm just saving you a little bit of time here by giving those numbers in here. Now this gets a little bit tedious with the um, with the approximations, right? Do that right? Yeah. So finally, we should have when this is all said and done, simplified, 59 over 86, or approximately equal to 0 0.6860. So it's not hard, but it can be a little tedious if you're finding exact numbers, okay, like we did here, this fraction. Um, but if you just plug into your calculator, you get an approximate answer. This. Now let's confirm that one final step we want to do. Let's confirm that with the graph here. Okay. Now how do we do that with a graphic calculator? Hey, look at this design here, guys. You see this? This is what my class this morning was, was doing. This was the winning design. Got them exploring uh, sine and cosine graphs, okay? Anyways, i got to clear all this now. Anyways. So what we'll do is we'll uh, graph here x cubed plus x minus 1. x cubed plus x minus 1. And we'll graph that. I'm not sure what my window looks like. Hey, not too bad. And we'll find the root. Do you remember how to do that in the calculator? Let's see. Second function, calculate 0, 2. It'll ask for a left boundary. That looks good to me. Right boundary. Let's go just on the right side of that root. Let's say that. And then, of course, we'll move the cursor over there close to the root. And it should give us an exact root here. Look at this. 0. 0.6823. Look at this. 0. 0.686. That is pretty good for just our third uh, a third approximation. All right, so that's uh, that's Newton's method. A brief introduction. That's how to use it. Uh, as long as you remember this formula right here. Okay, this is the formula for successive uh, iterations, I guess, uh, approximations of the uh, of the range.